Welcome everybody back to Emily's Upcycle Tone where we do thrifted items, handcrafted items, and upcycle them for profit. Project number one, we're just going to come and jump in here with some wood bowls and coming in with the Solstice Blue Milk Paint. And we are going to go ahead and mix that. And this milk paint comes in a powdered form and it's a one-to-one -one ratio of powder to water. Um, you want to do small batches because you want to use what you have or else you have to throw it away because it will go bad. I'm going to go ahead and come in and just start layering up my pieces. Come in with my heat gun and help the drying process here to get that crackle and that chippy effect that I want. Now if you notice my milk paint is a little runny here because I didn't have my measuring tool so I kind of just eyeballed it. But don't do that. Use your measuring tool so you can get the right consistency for your paint. And once again, I come in and just relayer and reheat, relayer and reheat. And this is my process here. Now I was going to leave the insides just brown, but I went ahead and decided to go ahead and fill the inside as well. Repeating that process of heating and layering that milk paint once again. And same process on our second little bowl here. Now I want to come in later on. I'm still deciding whether I want to add a little bit of a transfer, a little bit of stamping here. But first I'm going to come in with my sandpaper here. And it was a little coarse, so it kind of scratched up the piece. So then I come in with some more milk paint and some more heat gun to cover up those scratches. And then just decide to come in with a little book page buff off all the chippiness and smooth out the surface to get ready for our top coat here which is a clear coat by Dixie Belle in a flat finish. I'm going to go ahead and seal both of these bolts up inside, outside, and all around. So these will be for decorative use only. I am not making these for to use or to eat out of it. It's just decorative. Maybe a little trinket dish maybe you can add it on a stand maybe you just want to pop a blue on your cabinets or in your style you can even flip these over and use them as a riser here now i come in with my last step here and add some some diy white wax i'm coming in a little heavy of course and then i'm gonna do the inside and then we're gonna come in after i let it sit for a little bit and wipe off all the excess don't forget, you can shop with me on Whatnot every Wednesday at 9 a.m. where I do live sales, auction style. Come join the fun. I'll have that link in the description. Moving on to project number two. I have these really, really heavy bookcases or book um, ends here. So I'm going to go ahead, and they're gold. I'm going to go ahead and come in back with that Milk Fusion Milk Paint in Solstice Blue. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process here of layering and heat gunning and layering and heat gunning to get that chunky thick look of layered paint and a chippy surface here. Now for me, some of this paint comes off too much. So I go ahead and once again, add in a little bit of my sealer to my paint so that some of these pieces will stick. The paint will stick a little bit better. And once I have all this covered here, I will come in with my heat gun, trying to avoid my heat gun for my brush because I melted some of my bristles here and I don't want to keep doing that. So I'm just kind of <laughs> coming in and trying to place my brush to the side and just come in with that heat gun. Now, once again, to get the layering effect here and that texture and that chunky paint, layered look over time, like someone just kept painting and painting it, you want to come in with your heat gun, layer your paint, and come back in again. That way it helps um, cure in its place, and it dries, and it helps that crackle effect. Now I'm coming in on the top, and this is where I kind of get into a little bit more trouble where the um, paint just wants to fall off the surface. Remember, milk paint works with a resistant surface but if your surface is really resistant to the paint you're going to get so much chippy and this is what happened here there was a lot of surface that was resisting the paint and it was just falling off 
So once again, when that process happens, if you have your extra bond, that's where you want to add that into your milk paint. Or if you have a little bit of siller like I did, I just came in and added a little bit of siller to my paint and kept repeating that process of trying to get the look I want with not so much paint coming off, but just having enough to where I want it. And once again, milk paint is unpredictable. It's going to do what it wants to do. It's going to it's gonna chip where it wants to chip, and sometimes it's going to chip where you don't want it. And this is me adding that um, siller into the milk paint here and then reapplying it back on here. And it still gave me a chippy surface here, but it was it wasn't so much chippy that was on the first one like almost all the paint was coming off and that's not the look that i wanted so once again come back in with your heat gun reactivate that chippiness and i'm just using a book page here because it works like a buffing tool and it gives you like a smooth surface as you work that paper onto the surface there I'm going to finish up drying this piece and then I'm going to go ahead and seal the piece. And I find the more heat that you put onto the piece, the more the paint is going to bubble and chip. So now after I got the surface how I want, I'm going to go ahead, come in with my sealer, which is my white wax here. And I'm going to put this on and all, make sure it hits into all the little nooks and crannies of the crevices layering up that white wax and all the sides of the piece I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and then I come in with just my t-shirt here and wipe off all the excess don't forget you can shop with me over on Facebook marketplace I'll have that link in the description as well moving on to project number three these little ceramic dishes, I try to sell as is. I try to sell them on whatnot, but guess what? Nobody wanted them, so we're going to upcycle them. And I'm just coming in with some DIY um, paint here in the color B board. And this is going to be my surface here because I want the products that I'm going to use to stick to this ceramic slick surface. And after I put the first coat of that, I come back in with my dear my Dixie Belle clear coat and a flat finish to seal that in. Now I come in here with some cast iron by Fusion because first I'm thinking that I'm gonna make these like look like a little cast iron pieces, add some birds, add whatever it is to decorate them up. And once I painted them on, it wasn't where I wanted to go with the piece. So then after I paint in the Fusion, I come in with the raw silk milk paint by Fusion as well. Add that onto the piece and I'm coming in with just a very fine sandpaper piece here. And it didn't give me a lot of chippy, it did give me some crackle when applying that heat gun. And I did the same process as I did with the other two projects. I just don't want it to bore you too much. But it did not give me a lot of crackle and a lot of um, chippy. So I come in and help it out with my sandpaper. And then I come in with just a wet towel and kind of wet distress it. Now for the inside pieces, I'm going to come in with just these little sprigs of floral, yellow floral. I got off a wreath. Come in with some of that leftover ribbon we used from the other projects. Tie a little bow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in with a little bead of hot glue and glue these little pieces into the center of these little floral, these plates here. And I just thought this would be a cute idea to like layer up in a vignette or hang from a peg wood holder with a little tea towel behind it. Because you're going to see me right now add in a little piece of burlap ribbon style and to add for the hanger here now once again i thought these would just look cute like i said hanging off a peg holder and with a tea towel behind it and just soft and sweet little country kind of vibe here so after i tie these two pieces and the ribbon this project is complete now remember you can catch me live every friday 9 a.m pacific standard time over on my Facebook business page. 
And here are the finished projects. If you like my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for more DIY videos. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.